so welcome to the lecture the first lecture on um, our course basic electronics sps 3200 um my name is daniel my third year and um, i'll be taking you through this course so um our first topic is introduction to electronics and uh, we will be looking at the following um, subtopics um, we'll start by discussing uh, the structure of an atom um, then we proceed to the materials that uh, make electronics devices to function and those are the semiconductors. Then we'll look at um, the different types of currents in semiconductors. Then uh, we'll look at how we modify natural semiconductors or if you like intrinsic semiconductors to improve their performance and make them better uh, materials for making electronic devices. Then Finally, to wind up that uh, topic, we'll look at the PN junction, which is a useful feature which makes most electronic um, devices like diodes, uh, transistors, and others to function well. So, um, so those are the sub um, uh, areas or subtopics in that topic, introduction to semiconductors now um we start by defining what an atom is um, an atom can be defined as the smallest particle of an element that retains its uh, characteristics that retains the characteristics of that element um it's a simple definition but um, Every time I ask students to define what an atom is, uh, I'm surprised quite a good number don't um, um, get the definition right. So please uh, take note of that. Um, uh, it is the smallest particle of an element that retains the characteristics of that element. And the characteristics here are both chemical characteristics and physical characteristics. Um, so far, we have 118 known elements and uh, out of those 118 known elements means we have um, 118 different types of atoms um, with different atomic uh, configurations or different atomic structures. Now, um, an atom is so tiny that um, we cannot observe it under a microscope. And so um, to understand its structure, um, some scientists have come up with models, kind of theories to explain uh, the structure of an atom. And uh, one popular model, atomic structure model, was developed by a scientist called Bohr. And uh, Bohr's model states that an atom comprises of uh, a nucleus, which is centrally, which is central in the uh, atom and uh, the electrons around it orbit it in a circular fashion. Um, 
also ball ball um, indicated that um that the, the nucleus must be positively charged and uh, the electrons are negatively charged it turns out that at the nucleus you have two types two different types of sub subatomic uh, particles known as protons and neutrons um protons are the ones which are positively charged but the neutrons are have no charge the neutrons have no charge so effectively the nucleus is positively charged by the virtue of the fact that it is the protons which have the positive charge now electrons uh, are arranged or move around the nucleus in a circular fashion and uh, you have got electrons which are in the inner shells and or in the inner orbits and you have electrons in the outer orbits the outermost orbit um, is referred as the valence the valence shell um, and and uh, the electrons in that shell uh, are referred as the valence electrons um, i need to note that uh, each orbit each electron orbit corresponds to um, a given uh, amount of energy of the electrons and uh, it turns out that uh, the the innermost shells or the inner shells have got more energy than the outer shells the, the electrons in the outer shells so um the the, the 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 electrons in the outer shell have got the least um energy and the ones in the inner shell have got the most energy so um again uh, we are um looking at the boss atomic model and um, the diagrams uh, there shows the structure of an hydrogen atom and uh, helium atom now hydrogen atom has got only one proton at the nucleus and it's orbited by one electron at uh, the, 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 the its shell it's electron shell it has only one electron shell new um helium on the other hand has got two protons and two neutrons at the center at the nucleus and it is orbited by two electrons now um what um showing there is the periodic table and um, in the periodic table you can see all the 118 elements um the the periodic table is arranged in groups and uh, something we need to note is uh, the first three groups eh? this group uh, sorry um this something there is something uh, common about elements in um the same group and uh, it is that elements in the same group share the same number of electrons 
in the valence shell. So like this is group one elements, um, hydrogen, rhythm, um, sodium, potassium, and so on. Uh, all those elements have got one electron in their valence shell. This is group two elements. And again, they share one thing in common, um, and that is they have two um, electrons in the valence shell. Now, these are called, all these elements here are called transitional elements. Then after that, we have group three elements. Uh, and group three elements again have got three electrons in their valence shell. Then we have group four elements. Group four elements um, have one thing in common, which is they have four electrons in the valence shell. And uh, in electronics, group four elements are um, um, of um, significant importance because these are the elements which make which make the semiconductors elements in group four, okay, and so on and so forth. So, so this this is group four, group five elements, group six elements, group seven elements, group eight elements. Okay. Now, um, conductors. Um, conductors are materials that. Um, have ability to conduct electrical current easily. And uh, the reason why they can conduct electrical current easily is because they have uh, electrons, free electrons. What we mean by free electrons is that um, the electrons are not bound by the atoms. Um, the electrons are able to move freely throughout the material without being attracted strongly by the atoms. So, um, Sorry, I think that was an each. Um, I was talking about um, conductors um, before the network uh, got disconnected. And, and I was saying that um, Conductors are able to conduct electrical current because um, I'm experiencing uh, experiencing problems with my lecture. So I, I think I'll end it and